My name is Max Selva and I work at Catholic University of Leuven. Mm. I do a job for Flemish Supercomputer Center and I'm hired as a HPC consultant. In my daily job, I have to teach several courses about HPC, yeah. about operating system that is used on our uh, supercomputer. And I provide uh, a lot of support to our users with uh, software that they are using and with all the questions that they can come with. Uh, I studied physics and I chose physics uh, not really because of physics itself, but because it was uh, related to uh, computers. It was uh, the only way to study something uh, from informatics at that time. Uh, so during my master studies, I uh, developed some routines uh, of programming uh, for things that can be used by industry. And when I was finishing my master thesis, uh, my PhD supervisor got hired at the university. He was doing astrophysics and I got so much interested in astrophysics that I switched my field. Um, so I started uh, PhD studies in astrophysics, mainly in uh, solar physics and all the aspects of uh, solar missions. Uh, that gave me a possibility to travel to international conferences, to meet uh, scientists from all over the world, and also to fulfill my dream from my childhood. It was always uh, to visit NASA, that was my dream. Uh, at the end of my PhD studies, I got offered a position of a postdoctoral researcher at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Uh, so I left Europe and I went for a few years to US where I could uh, visit different NASA sites. Normal day of a scientist, of a postdoctoral researcher at NASA is um, first to get uh, some information of what was happening uh, on the sun during last day. So you come to work and you check the databases looking for interesting events, if they could occur. At this time, uh, something that uh, actually we could understand better or we could try to model or we could use the data for other purposes. There is also an aspect of uh, being always up to date. Uh, so you search uh, for interesting papers that just appears and you follow what other scientists are doing. And the rest of the day is just uh, making simulations of um, what can be observed by solar missions and uh, trying to understand events that occur, that we observe. Uh, what are the mechanisms that drive them. Uh, so there are a number of uh, possibilities to get hired as a space scientist. Um, one is uh, mostly popular in the US, uh, working on soft money, so writing projects and having projects extended and applying for uh, new money, where you get uh, funded uh, for two to five years, and during that you have to uh, derive a special uh, thing. It can be a program, it can be uh, some achievement, it can be a paper. Of course, such a goal can be modified. Uh, the deeper you go in science, it's uh, not always leading to success, so some small modification is possible. But there is also a European model where uh, scientists are usually hired at the universities, so part of um, work is teaching students and uh, spreading the information that you have, encouraging uh, new generations to follow the same route. And uh, the other part of your time you can still do research. In Europe there are a few research institutes where you can get hired uh, purely for doing research, but it's not that common. Recently uh, there arises also a possibility of uh, making a one-person company, and with such a company you can get uh, funding either from European Space Agency or from some other sources to develop uh, usually um, compute code or something that can be used for uh, space missions. Um, if I could change my uh, field, if I could uh, take the choices again, I'm not sure what I would have done. Um, being 15 or 18, you think about um, 
pleasure that you will get from working. So when I was making decision of my career, I knew that I love working with computers and that's why I chose it. Um, when you become older, you also think about uh, financial stability, about uh, finding a job. So um, a lot of other aspects come uh, to your mind and uh, it's difficult to decide if I would uh, go with a flow that uh, what I love to do or I would uh, choose a path that um, allows me to uh, get uh, easier stability, um, maybe easier career path. A career path of a researcher is not the easiest one because you always have to be on top of uh, all the research. So it's a constant development, it's a constant work and uh, not only nine to five job, but working after hours and uh, trying to get as much as uh, as much information as possible from internet from the others it's also a lot of effort to meet other people and to go to conferences to exchange knowledge uh, so although it's a very satisfactory job um, it's not always the easiest um, at this point i'm not sure i am very happy with uh, what i'm doing and where i am uh, but would it be again the same choice i cannot say that Thank <laughs> you.